All right, so now that we have everything set up here, we're gonna talk a little bit about the DRO and how it corresponds to what we're doing on the lathe. So when it comes up, it should look just like this. And very simply, what we can do is, is hit the, the C for, for center. It's looking for a reference up here, it's flashing. Simply hit no reference there. And if you wanna get back to seeing this zeros, very simply, just um, select the axis that you're looking for, and zero, enter, select the axis, zero, enter. Okay, so now we're back to zero. Now, it doesn't mean anything because we're not really set up yet, but what we're gonna do is, is go down here to our part, and we're gonna do a little driving. So we're gonna drive the tool in, and then we're gonna gently come over and touch off the end of the part. Now, once we've done that, we leave it right there, come right up here, and we select our Z axis because again, we're touching off on the Z and then we're gonna hit enter for zero. Now Z is zero and Z is right at the end of our part. So now that gives us a great reference point. So what we can do now is, is back Z off a little bit because we already know where it's at. Come out with the tool, bring the tool over some. And the best way to do this is to actually turn it on and then to bring it up until it's just scuffing. So we're gonna do that very quickly. <laughs> All right, so you can see the line there. You kind of see the line there that was just created by that. That there tells me that I'm just touching the surface. Now I can come up here on my X, zero, enter, and now I have X zero. So now I know where my X, Y zero is. It's essentially right at that point right there at the, at the very edge. All right, so if I need to go over here and machine two inches, I need to machine two inches from the end of my part over to a shoulder and I need to take that down to 497 and I'm starting off with a three quarter inch stock so that's 0.750 now I have the tools to know exactly where I'm going to start with this so at this point now that I'm set zero I can back off my X and my Z and now I can do make some accurate decisions on how to get it turned into place